Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to Nat Fashion Hub, the best fashion channel in the world. So today we are going to continue and finish our jeans trouser. This should be the part five. So this is the belt holder we are going to do here. It's one and a half inch wide. I've cut the fabric and then we are going to quickly fold it and um, do our finish our jeans trouser. The length of this belt holder, I've made it like 20, about 22 inches long. I'm going to have some access to it. All right, so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that you will be always notified whenever I drop amazing content like this. If you've not been following me on this channel, then I believe you, believe me, you are missing out a lot because like this series, this is a part four of it. So give me a thumb up, like the video, share and turn your notification bell on so that whenever I drop my videos, you'll be the first to be notified. So our belt holders are going to make them a length of three and a half inches. That's three and a half inches. So I'm going to cut it into, in, all in all, we need six belt holders. Most jeans carry five belt holders, but I just like making it six. So I'm going to have six belt holders on these jeans. All right. So uh, those are belt holders. I think I have seven of them. I'm going to reduce, remove one from them. Yeah, let's remove that one off. So we have six belt holders to couple and finish up our jeans trousers. So without wasting time, we are going to mark at those various points where we are going to be fixing our belt holders. So if you watch from the, um, I'm going to trim off this allowance first, trim it off. Yes, trim it off. So from the beginning of this zip, I'm going to be marking six inches left, six inches right. All right. That will be where the front belt holders will lie. So I'm going to measure three inches from the beginning of this trouser here. Mark three inches. This side, I'm still going to mark three inches from beginning from the zip there. You see, I'm going to mark three inches. Hope it's clear. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to mark one inch behind this back line here. One inch at one inch behind the back line. Then the same thing with this side. I'm going to do the same thing. And then going over to the back. Now I am going to mark one and a half inch away from the back, you know, line. Yes, one and a half inch away from there. The same thing with, with the other side such that um, the distance apart is going to be three inches yep so without wasting time we are going to go straight fix our belt holders as we attach the waist so this weight i've cut it to be four inches wide you can see there four inches wide so i first of all folded half an inch i folded half an inch all right the length is the length of the according to the waist length for the half inch and for the one and a half inch leaving an excess of a quarter inch on the underside there so the length of this belt um this waistband is um just a little bit longer than the actual waist of this trouser so that i'll have some excess excesses to trim off that's why so without wasting time let's quickly do this so as i'm stitching this waist to this trouser you can see how i folded my waist very simple i'm going to be dropping my waist band belt holders at those strategic places here so here we have one um, belt holder there and um we are going to continue like that to the end of the trouser so i'll be fast forwarding i don't want us to waste much time away fast forwarding um, but as I'm sewing, I'm dropping my belt holders at those places where I made mark for them. So I fast forward so that I will not waste our time, you know, watching, wanting over and over. If you're enjoying this content, please destroy that like button. Like the video. Smash the like button. Please subscribe if you are watching my videos and you are yet to subscribe. Help a brother grow. Subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on so that whenever I drop amazing contents like this, you will be the first to be notified, right? So that's right, that's right. We're almost done with the with the first side of the waistband. So you see this allowance is in excess. I'm gonna trim it off. Alright, so watch how I'm gonna do it so that it will be straight, okay? 
so i'm going to trim this allowance of excess of i'm going to leave like just half inch plus there yeah you know for the closing up of the waist and so i'm going to run a stitch half inch below each below the waistline on each of these belt holders i'm going to stitch run a stitch on them half inch below the waistline i'm sorry it's a bit dark here oh someone help me i need a ring light i need a ring light <laughs> so um i'm going to run a stitch half an inch below the waistline there on the belt holders all right you can see that one i'll run i'll do this all around like i said i'm going to be fast forwarding because i don't want to spend too much time so i'm going to fast forward all right so just follow me but i'm running stitch below one half inch below the west line on all the belt holders all right that's what i'm doing so don't get it don't be lost don't be lost don't be lost just follow me just follow me just follow me yeah so we're there all right i'm going to trim off i'm going to cut off all the excess threads i hate daily work hmm someone tell me i'm doing well <laughs> all right so that's it okay so we are now going to fold that allowance in watch i'm going to do it all right watch carefully i'll fold it in carefully bend it and watch how I'm going to start stitching this waist. Watch where I'm going to start. It's very, very important. See where I'm going to start? I didn't start at the beginning of the waistline. I started somewhere inwards. Then I'll stitch outwards and turn, all right? You know, watch I'm going to do it. You see? It's very, very intentional. I did that intentional so that uh, there won't be any threads, all right, found, you know, anyhow, where in the front part of this trousers, all right? I want it to be clean. Always remember, clean work is the watchword. Clean work is the watchword. Clean work is the watchword. So make it clean. Yep, so that is that. So next, I'm going to stitch this waistline all the way to the end. All right. Watch, I'm, I'm doing it. You see the down part, what I already folded. You see that I have each other before. So it is, so I'm folding it. You see how clean it's looking? That's the way, that's the way, that's the way. So, like I normally do, I'm going to fast forward this. So that we run sharply to, through. And we try and finish this up. Right, it's quite simple. Okay, just follow me. And if I enjoy this content please smash the like button smash the like button that's right yep so let's do that so we're almost done we're almost at the end of it so we still fold this allowance inwards carefully fold it inwards yeah that's right see yep so turn it over and um finish up so you see now we are going to finish up with our belt holders you see i folded the the remaining part in and um i'm going to run through it and without wasting time we will try and finish up this trouser you see it's very simple cut off the excess threads always remember to do that so without wasting time, I'm going to fast forward this, all right, so that we don't waste time. Sharp, sharp, and we are done. It's quite simple, okay? It's very simple. This is simple, simple, simple. All right, so we are here again at the end part of this. All right, always remember to cut off those excess threads, very important. So we're almost done with the waist, waist band. Let's move over to something else. I'm gonna show you how to hem the trouser neatly. The trouser, how to hem the end part, okay? How to hem it neatly, I'm gonna show us that. So please just watch to the end. 
watch the end and you watch how I finish it up. So our trailer is looking very clean, okay? Powerful jeans, very clean, simple and straightforward. Let's look at the back, how it's looking. You can see the pockets all standing out. Clean work, standard jeans, oh my God. So without wasting time, let's try and um, fold the, 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 the edges of the trousers, the legs of the trousers day. So that will finish it up, all right? So we're gonna take the length of this trouser, which is 38, yeah. So at 38, we're gonna fold it. And so we're having some excess of two inches because the full length is on the whole length is on 40. We have two inches extra, so we're going to fold it in by two inches. All right, two inches. We're going to fold it in by two inches, and we are done with our trousers. So you see, I've already done some folding. That's why you can see the mark there. It's two inches. All right, two inches. Fold it in by two inches and give it a good pressing. You see, so fold it in by two inches. All of them fold by two inches. Same thing with this, fold by two inches. I already made a mark there, so it's quite simple to follow, right? Press it with iron to make sure that the 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 the, 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 the lines are showing very well, so that you can easily stitch it without wasting time. Yep. So that's it. Let's go to the machine and finish it up. So I'm going to do it double folding, fold in first and then one, then the second time, all right? So you can see that. Without wasting time, I'm going to fold this. I'm going to fast forward this. I don't have to waste time. Yeah, so you see that. Very simple and straightforward. Simple and straightforward. So when we finish running the, the you know, round this trouser, I'm going to do a top stitch again, just so you can see. After we finish the inner stitch, I'm going to see the top stitch so that the stitch will be bold. You know, the stitch with jeans, uh, the bolder it is, the more vis visible it is, the better it is. All right, so so I'm going to run a top stitch now. Watch me. I'm going to run a top stitch. You see that? I'm going to run a top stitch so that the stitch will be thick and bold. All right, very important. It's intentional. All right, it's intentional. That is jeans standard. That's jeans standard, all right? Jeans standard. All right, so without wasting time, let's do the second leg. And we are done. So if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy watching this video, what are you waiting for? Smash the like button. Wait, you see how it will look like when I'm doing everything is done. Just wait. Don't don't be in a rush to end this video. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. All right. Don't be in a haste. I'm still gonna run a top stitch here. Okay. Don't be in a haste. I'm in the haste. Don't be in a haste. Just wait. Just hold on. Stay with me. <laughs> yeah, I love this. All right. So. We're almost there, almost there. Just hold on for a little while. Look short, you see. These are jeans right here. Very standard, very good, very powerful, very clean. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. If you want to sew like a pro, subscribe to my channel and you cannot regret this. All right. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate. Welcome to Not Fashion Hub, the best fashion channel in the world. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.